So hello and welcome. It is Power Week again and today we're going to discuss the analytics features that they released on the November 2018 Power BI Desktop update. So the one that I like the most and that I'm going to use a lot is the possibility to do conditional formatting on like most of the new of the visualizations that are available. I'm going to show you for the tree map but uh, you will see that they are available also on the funnel chart, bubble and fill maps, on the shape map, on tree map, which is where the one I will show you. It works the same way for all of them. And then the scatter chart. Okay, so let's get going. Here we are, Power BI, the Northwind dataset, and uh, this conditional format and it basically allows you to color the visuals based on rules or other stuff. So as you can see here, this was the old experience where you created a matrix for or a tree map like it is in here. If you go to the format panel and go to data colors, this is the one, the option that you had. You have the possibility to color each category in the, either the same color or different colors, but there was no way to actually give it roles. And I think it's so powerful if you can do that. Well, now you can. So if you can see here, there's something called advanced controls. Controls. So if you click on there, you have the possibility to do a color scale, or you can do rules, or you can do field value. So I'm going to show you the most complex, which is color by rules. And I think that is the most useful of all. So here we have the, our tree map and it says based on field, what we want to do is we want to color our tree map based on sales. So sales that are over 1000, it will be green. Sales that are below 1000, it will become red. So we go to order details and sales to pick the sales measure. I have a measure on the order details that measure the sum of sales. And that's the one that we're going to use. And it says rules. If the value is less than 1000, then red. And we have a new one. If it is greater than 1000, remove that one, then green. You click OK. And boom. And now you can see, I mean, this tree map has like a lot of functions. It works, for example, for, I have a tooltip on it, maybe I should remove it so you can actually see. There you go. So it has a, a few functions. For the first one, it is a filter. So if I click on beverage, it will, you know, change everything on the, on the pane, which is fantastic. For the second one, it has the shape of the square. It means how big it is you know, measure against the, the, the other categories. It is very useful, I think, to have the data labels on so you can actually see. So this is 23,000 in sales for beverages. And then you can see it in relationship with 8,000 sales for dairy products. But now you can also visually see which categories are below 1,000, which is the limit or the low threshold we have set up for this product. So now it has three connotations on the same filter. And I think that is fantastic because we are utilizing the real estate space on this canvas and maximizing it. So I really love this feature. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Don't go too wild on this. Don't have conditional formatting everywhere because, you know, at the end, people will not know where to look. I should do videos on visualization, but Use it carefully, but definitely use it. It's very, very powerful. Another uh, feature that they release is the possibility to do follow-up questions on Q&A. I don't use Q&A a lot, I'm going to be honest. Let me know in the comment box if you do. I just don't. I never seem to ask the proper question to get what I want, and then it's just easier to do it from scratch. I should probably learn it better. But you have the possibility, you ask a question, and then you have the possibility to ask a related question to that question. So before, if you wanted to ask from the data that you see from the first question, another question, you couldn't do that. Well, you can now. So that is the news on the analytic features. 
I hope you're enjoying this Power BI desktop update. I'm definitely doing it. So hello there. Do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that.